What makes a successful social skill intervention? The following is taken from a research study that was published in 2003. Here's the findings. First, what is more abstract than the social world? We need to do what we can to make social learning concrete. Rather than teach a generic lesson about greeting a friend, uh, complete, complete a task on something a friend might do at recess, and specifically teach that task step by step. In other words, make it much more concrete. Secondly, provide structure and predictability. One nice way to do this is through something called joint action routines or JARs, where a script and specific materials are provided for a routine such as ordering in a restaurant or maybe trick-or-treating. Provision of scaffolded language support includes simplifying language for younger and less able children and also matching pairs or groups of children with similar language levels so that both of them have uh, equal opportunities to communicate. Scaffolding means support at whatever level the, the learner happens to be, uh, to be at, wherever they land. Some tried and true scaffolding or supportive helps might be just uh, giving the child the first sound of the word he's searching for. Uh, maybe giving a choice of words. Even an expectant look might be enough to help some kids verbalize. We know generalization of learned material may be difficult for students on the autism spectrum. Be sure to provide multiple and varied learning opportunities so the skills are applicable in differing, con differing contexts. It's really hard to teach social skills outside a social setting. Make sure your activities are other focused. Children should be working in pairs or in groups as much as possible. If your social skills programming is based on worksheets, you're just teaching social skill bits. It, it's not other focused and it won't produce the desired results. Social skills must be taught in context.